Hi guys! A viewer requested a tutorial on how to make an animated GIF from video using Photoshop Elements. You can find GIFs made from personal videos, movies, and television shows all over Tumblr. Now, there may be other ways to make GIFs from video. This is just how I do it, using Photoshop Elements 7, which I already have open and ready to go. First, you'll need some video to work with. You can choose just about any video you like, though some formats won't work straight away in Photoshop, and some video is protected. Even if you don't have video that will work with Photoshop, one of the simplest ways to get the frames you want is by using screen capture software for video. You can get a pretty decent screen capture program here at camstudio.org and it's free. I'll show you how to use it now. Just skip the following steps if you already have video that works with Photoshop. Open your screen capture software. I have it set up to record my screen in AVI video format because AVI will work with Photoshop. This program has the option to choose what region of the screen to capture. I've selected Window. Since I don't need the audio, I've made that selection as well. There are also other options you can adjust as you like. Open the video you'd like to record. I've already got my video of choice open and ready to go. Now, to record the screen, click the Record button. Then choose the window to record. It should start recording straight away. Start your video. Once you've gotten enough of the video captured, click the Stop button on the Screen Capture app. A save screen will pop up. Name the video and save where you like. A player screen pops up so you can view your new video. It's ready to go. Close all the windows. Just don't forget where you saved the video. Now, let's import some frames into Photoshop. To do this, click the File drop-down, go to Import, then Frame from Video. On the pop-up with the video player, click Browse, then select your video. You can now view it in the player and capture frames from it. Because I want to capture an action sequence from my video, I'll click on parts of the play bar that are close enough together to get a smoother look for my GIF. Each time I move the cursor, I click Grab Frame to get a snapshot of the frame showing. Each frame I've captured will open in the Photoshop editor and can be seen in the bin at the bottom. After getting all the needed frames, click Done. It's time to create the animated GIF. Go to the first image in the bin and double click to open it in the editor. Click the Create a New Layer icon to add blank layers, one for each of the images in the bin. In this case, I'll add seven. I'm going to double click the background layer to unlock it. I'm also highlighting the next layer on top of the first by clicking on it. I want to put the second image from the bin in this layer. Go back to the bin and double click to open the second image. I need to copy this image. So I'll select it using the Rectangular Marquee tool. Then hit Ctrl plus C buttons to copy. Now back to the bin, double click to open the first image again. Make sure the blank layer on top of the image is highlighted. That's where the image we just copied will go. Hit Ctrl plus V to paste the image into this layer. Repeat these steps with the next image in the bin. Double click to open the third image Control plus C to copy. Double click to open the first image. Make sure the next blank layer is highlighted. Then Control plus V to paste. Do this until all the images have been pasted into the layers. I'm toggling the visibility icon off and on to get an idea what the animation might look like. If you do this, make sure to toggle visibility back on so that the eye icon is showing. 
Before I save and create the GIF, I want to make some adjustments by cropping out any unwanted parts of the image. Using the rectangular marquee tool, select the desired part of the image, go to the image drop-down, then select Crop. This is optional. Finally, it's time to save the GIF. Go to the File drop-down, choose Save As. On the Save screen, name the GIF and choose where you want to save it. Where it says Format, select CompuServe GIF. In the Save Options section, make sure the Layers box is ticked. This is very important. Then click Save. The next screen is where you'll choose options for the GIF. Most importantly, be sure the Animate box is ticked, or the animation won't work. You can also adjust the size of the GIF, whether or not the animation loops, and even what the frame delay will be. Keep in mind though, if you change the frame delay, all the frames will be affected and will delay at the same rate. If you wish for one frame to appear for a longer time than the others, you'll need to go back and create duplicate layers of that frame, then save the GIF again. To preview what the GIF will look like, click the Preview In icon. This is what my GIF looks like. After you get the GIF looking like you want, be sure to click OK at the top right of the screen and save your GIF. And there you have it. Have fun making your own animated GIF from videos. You all take care out there. Until next time, bye!